Hey everyone, Demonite here, and I'm back in Borderlands 3 with the Zane Boyle. <laughs> and we have the final Valky fragment, which we have to give to Tannis now. And then it's time to open our first vault in this game. Now, shoo! I need to do a lot of science, and your natural odor is alluringly potent and thus distracting. All right. Crimson Raiders to the bridge. I really want a slight speed relic. You did it, killer. It'll be a long time before Malawan forgets the thrashing you gave him. Let's see the Calypsos try to spin that. Now, we've got an opening and we're gonna take it. Reese, where's that vault? First off, I wanna say a little something. You saved my skin and What's the skins of every skies? Atlas employee. And skin's important. Stop saying skin. Right. The vault. It's hidden underneath the Apollyon Transit Station. It's in the middle of the city? How did no one ever find it? The old Atlas Corporation just paved right over it. I found it when I took over, but I wasn't about to pop the top on that thing in a populated area. Opening a vault is messy stuff. But I'll leave that up to you. Reese! Oh! Well, Reese would have know. have to be fast. I'm going through the Skyway by vehicle. Got it. I'll take point with the Vault Hunter. This one's mine. We're opening a vault, Maya. You expect me to miss that? I can handle myself, siren or not. Lilith, we don't know what's down there. It could get ugly. You brought me back to the Raiders for a reason. You're the commander. Use the weapons you've got. Okay. This one's all you. Next vault, we do it together. Once you've got your wings back. Yeah. All right, Maya. Let's gear up. First vault, what should I bring? Nope, stay with Lilith. Seriously? What have I been training for? I'm ready, Maya! Not yet. See you planet side, Vault Hunter. Ava, I could use some help up here on the bridge. You want to take comms? Yeah, no, I'm good. <laughs> Alright, so... Let's sell some stuff and buy some SDUs. Okay, let's see. Any item I'll keep so this. And I'll find a buyer. But I think we can sell pretty much everything else. Ah, you're a okay, the class mods. Hmm. I'm gonna also just keep the legendaries. So that shield is better, but my shield has that health bonus, yeah. Now the class mods... Yeah, I think I can sell these two. I'll keep the blue one though. Okay. Alright. Uh, let's see, how much Iridium do I have? Almost 500, then... Let's also head down to Earl, maybe. Well, level 4. Just quickly check what he has. Okay, he doesn't have a single operative anointed one. Just some general purpose anointed. No, I think we don't really need anything. Maybe something here. Nah, they all look kind of weird. This might look cool with that helmet.
or this. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get that skin. Okay. Have, oh yeah, the lance helmet. Yeah, that looks cool. Honestly, I think I'll just leave it like this. Something like that. We'll just leave it like this. Alright, now let's head... Not this, now let's head down to the planet, Promethea. somewhere or am I completely wrong? I think I'm completely wrong. Oh. Also, kinda having some frame drops again. But it's just when I'm recording. I played earlier today and it was really smooth. That dashing fook over there was making eyes of your sister! Hmm. I don't think I've ever gotten that cash before because I don't remember how to get up there. Guess I forgot to equip this when I leveled up last time. Uh, 
just quickly gonna wait for Sentinel to go away. There we go. So this, uh, yeah, converts Sentinel's damage to Cryo. That's probably gonna be helpful. Um, and this is just one point, so I'll put this in here. And then I think I'm gonna spend points in here for some cooldown raid. The Digi Clone doesn't really need it that much, but I think for Sentinel that's gonna really help because that has a long cooldown. 60 seconds. And yeah, I'll just grab that cash later on when I know how to get up there. Don't want to spend too much time on that now. You seek the highway. I will clear the path for you. Cool swords are handy. <laughs> Very edgy, but I love it. Look at that. <laughs> the vault awaits you. Say hi to Maya for me. We go back a ways. I think that's pretty nice. What's up, that zero says that. It's been a grip. So, life update. Katagawa shaft the bed, but you knew that already. Troy's whining that we haven't opened the vault yet, and I can't get properly laid because I keep leeching my partners to death, so that's my whole thing. Oh, you're busy. <laughs> it's cool. But let's catch up real soon, okay? <laughs> I think Zero should join us. That would be awesome. <laughs> because I want some interaction between Zero and Maya. Okay, before I go here, actually... Here's a Typhon log. Wish I could say finding that vault did some good for the people of Promethea, but that ain't true. At first, it sure seemed like it, though. Atlas started building subways and planetary tracks. When they didn't find another vault, the corporation stopped investing in the planet, and Promethea became a crap hole again. Be careful who you work for. Corporations, they're like assholes. They ain't any prettier from the inside. And if you stay near one long enough, they're gonna crap all over you. <laughs> Okay, now let's meet up with Maya. Of course. What the hell am I doing here otherwise? Yo, Ellie. We'd like to make it to the vault in one piece. What you got for me? Girl, I've been waiting Just talk for you to, to the say sky. something like that. Get ready for Project Zabane! Oh, Ellie. Never change. You're driving. Need my hands free. Now this mission. This is a <laughs> not a very fun mission. There's actually two missions like this in the game. And uh, I guess they're kind of cool the first time you play through them, but after that it's just meh. And especially in TVHM, car missions like this just don't work. They just die way too quickly and it's very annoying. We need some tunes. Let's see what Ellie's got on here. Classic. Yeah. <laughs> kind of funny when you first play it, I guess, but not so much in TVH and that's for sure. Don't worry about her. We got this. Just like on Athenus, right? Never clan. This one was practically made for you. Here they come. Light them up. Get me close and I'll blast them. So yeah, basically in this mission you just sit in your car the entire time. And drive around and kill enemies. And in normal mode that works out decently. Most of the time at least. But in TVHM it just doesn't. And I'll clear the way. 
Guess Maya equipped a, a new action skill augment that turned her face look into a fireball. Also, this mission would be a lot more fun if you could use your own car, in my opinion. Because then you could at least choose your vehicle and the weapons you want to use. Okay, so that wasn't so bad. Unlock those parts. That's cool, I guess. Oh, yeah, she's just following me. I saw them! I saw those damn aliens below! Deep below! They live underground! I always thought aliens would come from the sky, but they didn't! They live beneath us, waiting for their time to strike, I'm sure. I tried to warn people, but nobody believes me. They all called me crazy. But I'm not crazy. I'm the only one who sees the truth of things. There's aliens, I tell ya. Aliens from the deep. Very interesting. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Game could calm down, that would be great. Does a body good? My body does it. I kinda got a feeling the shotgun is starting to fall off. Oh, and there's a badass. Oh, thanks, Maya. Or not. Hmm. The grave. 
<laughs> nice grenade. Before we head in there, there's another log here. I hate those guys with the shield. They can be really annoying. Face lock that one, Maya. That would be helpful. Okay, there we go. Cow's arse with a banjo. Oh, well, another guy. Is Maya. Hmm, this also gives max health and the capacity is much better. I think we're gonna use this. Not as much max health of course, but still. Apollyon Station at the intersection of industry and transportation and luxury. It's a three-way intersection. Apollyon Station. Try our new product. 
private transit pods. Fart up your commute in peace. Polyon Station. Just blast that subway car with your butt stink. Get your butt shined by our expert butt ballets. <laughs> Okay, it wasn't that funny. Sadly, not a class mod for us. Did Maya just stop I following can't. us? Because usually she fights with you here. That's a class mod. Okay, there's also this claptrap here. See Maya on the map. No, I don't think so. That's it! I'm sick of waiting around for those freaking aliens to rise up and kill us all! I'm going after them! Just me and my two fists of righteous human fury! If no one else is gonna do anything about it, I will! I'm not crazy! I'm not crazy! <laughs> I can actually kill this guy from here without him being aggroed. Death comes for us okay, all. never mind. But you first. That worked the last ah. 20 what? times I did this mission. The actual vec. Guardians. They protect the vaults from anyone crazy enough to open one. They won't be happy to see us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maya should be standing next to me. Guess she doesn't want to come. Double it up. You got it. Oh, and yeah, guardians in this game 
have no health and are just shields, which I think is really cool. So you now have mobbing areas with only shields, or mostly shields. Some of them have armor. Pretty tough armor, actually. So corrosive weapons are also good for guardians. But yeah, enemies without health in general is just kind of cool. That one for something with armor. I'm also just checking. Did I go in there? Because over here, yeah, over here is the cache, and the Typhon Log should be over there if I remember correctly. Almost only greens. Okay, let's just pick up everything. Alright, sorry about that cut there. My game just crashed shortly after I opened that cache. Unfortunately, that still happens quite frequently right now. Which is very annoying. Most often it happens when you do something in the inventory. I have no idea why. I really hope that's gonna get fixed soon. It was just a matter of time until that happened in the playthrough. I mean, it's the first time it happened while I was recording, so that's a plus. But if it's not gonna get patched soon, I can have a feeling it's not gonna be the last time. Anyway... <laughs> Maya is now here with us, so I guess we can fight all those guardians again now with her. So that's something. And uh, what I also wanted to mention is that there seems to be this kind of notion going on in the community right now. That uh, 
Zane is a underwhelming and bad character at endgame. And uh, I've, I've seen Mopey play him at level 50 in Mayhem 3. And you know, I'm kind of seeing some parallels here to Borderlands 2. And we all know what my you channel is about. So we'll see what the future brings. <laughs> But right now, I won't bother with that, I'll just enjoy getting him to level 50 in the first place. And so far, he's definitely fun to use. Which is always the most important thing about anything in video games. I really love how you can get creative with uh, the placement of your digi clone. That reminds me of Axton and uh, his turret placement. Oh, and Jacob sent me a mail. Alright, let's check that out real quick. Ooh. Maybe that's gonna be better. Also, Mopi was playing Zane. <laughs> Not anymore, I guess. Okay, let's see. Yeah, the, the inventory is just weird. Well, it does less damage. But it also doesn't consume 2 ammo per shot. And it's more accurate. Well, not that much more accurate, but it's not 4 projectiles. Hmm. Well, the, the max size is actually not that much larger. It's only one shot, in fact. I think I'm still gonna keep that repeater masher. But maybe we should switch out this shotgun because that's still level 17. And my sniper is level 16, damn. And I think it's kind of starting to fall off. I guess we could use that launcher. Maybe this. I'll give that a try. These star guns actually deal increased damage if they're semi auto, if I'm not mistaken. If you put them in semi auto mode, I mean. Got any more for the meat grinder? It's not bad, but this was still more damage. The sun. Oh yeah, that happens. When Maya face locks them and they're mid teleport, it just kind of glitches out and you can't damage them. It's not the first time that happened to me. Uh, 
And the world quaked in terror. <laughs> All right, let's head in here. The forgotten basilica. And that's a vault, as you can see. Lilith, we're in. Maya, Ava's gone. She'll be swarming everywhere. Take it Looks like we're on our own, Vault Hunter. So, where is Lilith right now? Shouldn't she be staying on Sanctuary? So either Sanctuary is currently under attack or they are somewhere else? I don't really get that. Okay, let's see. We can sell a bunch of crap. Because of course we're gonna fight a vault monster now. And we're gonna get some loot after that, so now let's make some space. Oh yeah, and I didn't look at that class mod. Well, one skill I already dislike. Violent speed, I think it's called. Here, let's see. Where is it? There. Violent violence and violent speed. Very violent class mod. Here, yeah, violent speed, meh. And this? Okay, increased fire rate isn't bad, but I'm... Um, Still gonna use my class mod. That's better. I guess I could have sold it now, but whatever. Wow. Oh, and I leveled up. So yeah, I'm gonna put points in here now for some cool on raid. Sure I'd ever see another ball. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you brought me back. Imagine. Get ready. The creature the Iridian sealed. Imagine what has been sleeping for millennia when we wake it up. There, that arch is the entrance. Put the key in that pedestal. Let's see what all the fuss is about. Here we go. So I think this is really cool. Fighting a vault monster with a vault hunter from Borderlands 2. You rampage. And man, this thing has such a good soundtrack. Okay, I think honestly my sniper... Oh yeah, I have that equipped anyway, never mind. I'm stupid. Clone is taking some damage. Goodbye, clone. Crap, it's invulnerable. The sound design in this game is so good. That actually sounds really angry and intimidating.
wrong action skill. Our sniper won't do much because it's now in its fire phase. You stand still, please. You just said that, Mario. second winds off of those flying blue things. So getting second winds during this fight is really a problem. you to wait on the ship. It isn't safe here. And this a chance to see a real vault? Look at this place. Ava, you're not a vault hunter yet. There's a lot more to it than running headfirst into danger. Uh, yeah, totally. Vault hunter, you should go inside. Take your time. I need to have a chat with my apprentice. Let's loot this sucker. <laughs> hundred years old. Maybe even 200! Ava, we need to talk. Uh-huh, but yeah. This isn't a joke. Yeah, 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 I know. Don't touch anything. Probably not. Yeah, so... I have no idea why Ava figured out where to go and how she got in here. It kind of doesn't make a lot of sense to me. But, uh, anyway, we got this, which is a guaranteed drop from this boss. And it's just a rocket launcher that shoots these four projectiles that, uh, just rotate in elements according to the boss attack patterns. Or it's phases, I should say, so radiation, corrosive, and fire. 
So interesting, but not something I'm gonna use, I think. And also, these two are pretty similar, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, anyway, let's head into that vault. Yeah, so Tannis can do that, <laughs> which is interesting. Okay, maybe we'll use this. Now let's pick up that thing. Alien gadget! Yes! for a reason. There must be some significance to this device. Yeah, we can destroy iridium now. Iridium crystals and we get Guess I'll give it a whack. Actual iridium from that. We'll just pick up everything so we can sell it, and that's that. Fascinating! This vault is linked by an ancient energy conduit to a second vault. Those coordinates look like Eden 6. Good work, Vault Hunter! We have our next destination. Collect Maya and her little truant and return to the ship. Alright, before we do that, I'm gonna make a quick cut. Okay, I'm back. Now, let's return. <laughs> Ava, I'm trying to keep you safe. By just ditching me on the ship? You said I could be a Vault Hunter like you! You promised! You will! When you're ready. What's up, bitches? Ow! Troy, look what they left for us! <sighs> Thanks for doing all the hard work. Man, <laughs> you Vault Thieves only think with your trigger fingers, huh? Keep this up and I'll be a god for real! Uh, we'll be gods. That's what I said. Now, let me do my thing. No! What are you doing? Taking what's ours. See, the monsters don't protect the power of the vaults. They are the power of the vaults. And now it's all mine. Hey, save any for the parasite? We're leaving. Now. We should be kicking their asses! So who's the brat? You I get, but what's her deal? She's no one. I'm your problem. I'm gonna be a siren, uh. and then I'm gonna mop the floor with assholes like you! You're gonna... <laughs> Is that how you think this works? Honey, you're not even gonna leave this place. <laughs> Put her down. <laughs> 
That's what I thought. <laughs> Ava, don't! <laughs> Be ready. You could only take from me. Yes, it's uh, any siren. Come on, we got what we came for. Yeah, a lot more. But hey, if that siren thing ever works out for you. That's what she gets for talking trash about Reese's mustache. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. So, uh...